you are not a full-time industry music producer right now, you have to know there are secrets that you don't know about. You ever wonder why industry producers can just make melodies like that just so quick and they just make them sound so amazing every single time? Um, no, it's not practice and years of making music. It's secrets. In all seriousness though, there are some secrets that you might not know about yet. When it comes to making melodies, they can really easily level up your game. So in this video, I'm gonna be dropping some sauce on those secrets that you might not know about yet. And if you watch at the end of this video, then I know that for sure you will know what to do to make better melodies. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, so the first industry producer secret, and I don't even really know if this is a secret anymore, is using Melodyne to steal melodies. I'm just playing, y'all. Or am I? The actual first secret is having go-tos. A lot of industry producers will have go-to VSTs. And inside of those VSTs, they'll have go-to banks that they've made or their friends made who have a similar sound to them. Or they'll just cop other banks from other producers who are just great at sound design and have the sound that they're looking for. A big example of this is in Analog Lab now. For example, I have my Illuminate kit. This is a bank that I've worked on myself and has 40 presets. All sounds that I created that I love. And now this is one of my go-to banks that I use almost every single time I make a beat. A lot of these producers have a keen sense to what progressions make good songs. And they'll either know by heart what chords to start with or they'll have like a midi pack of all these different progressions that sound really good and i'll go to one of my own midi kits and let's just choose this one let's go to one of my piano presets What I noticed is that the MIDI progressions, if they do have like MIDI packs, they won't really be too complex like this. I mean, some of them will, but a lot of times it'll just be like basic chords and like an eight bar loop that sound good together. And then they'll just build off of that. And now this secret is a little bit more modernized, but having like go-to phrases and accents and textures that you can use for your melodies, that's a big one that's rising in popularity. Something like this, like a texture, or an accent. Just stuff that you can just like drag in and then pitch to exactly how you want it. Let me make a quick melody with this. I got this preset right here. And I just drag them in the midis. One great thing about having go-tos for VSTs, banks, midis, phrases, accents, is that it saves an ass load of time. Like no more going through 60 stock presets to find one sound that you might use for your melody. A lot of industry producers will just have a system. They like know exactly where to go when it comes to finding sounds. And as Mark Cuban once said, time is the most valuable resource that you do not control or something like that. I, I don't know the exact word, something like that though. The next secret to making melodies is this little thing called predictable notes. What's probably a song that we all know bad and bougie do we all know i you know that song bad and bougie my it's bad and bougie cooking a dough with the ooze. i want you to think of the melody what's what's the melody of bad and bougie dun 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 like we all know the melody of bad and bougie because it's such a hit song and one reason that it's such a catchy and memorable melody is because it uses predictable notes the bell melody that metro use follows a pattern that's just so easy to catch on to and so many hit songs will have melodies that have predictable notes to them this is like what makes you hum the song you're thinking of even when you're not listening to it like when you have a song stuck in your head and you're you're thinking of the melody you're humming it so let me show you what i'm talking about i'm gonna go back to my illuminate kit and grab this reese i have Listen to this bell melody that I play. I don't know how to explain it, but like, there's just notes that you can just easily catch on to it. And part of that reason is because they follow in the scale that I'm in and they're all pretty close together. It's not like I have like this and then this is like going down all the way over here and this one is coming all the way up here. Like they're all pretty close in the scale together and they just go down and then they go up. It's easy, predictable notes going up and down the scale or just having a pattern that's somewhat close together. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this video or have learned something from this video, it would mean so much to me if you guys subscribe so that you guys can keep watching videos just like this one. Once you have a melody, sometimes it can sound kind of bland, even if you have great sounds that you're using. So one thing that you can do is to utilize effect VSTs. Now it's no secret to use effect VSTs to modify your melodies, but what is a secret is the banks and presets that industry producers use and the process of utilizing these effect vsts so the portal that's no secret but if we scroll down okay 
Maybe not. Maybe we won't scroll down. If we scroll down, then these banks here. See all these different banks that I have? These are where the real sauce comes from. And you see how I have some of these starred? These are my favorite ones. The, my favorite presets that I like to use. Maybe we'll unstar that one. <laughs> A lot of industry producers have different processes of how they use effect VST. So first thing that I'll do is I'll probably use portal or halftime. The next I'll go to an effect VST from Arturia, like this filter M12. This is one of my favorites recently. And then maybe after that, I'll go to something like auto chroma. Maybe I'll take off auto chroma and then I'll go to like a chorus or something. It's also kind of up to you to go through your process and figure out what effect VSTs you like using and what order you use them in. Now this last secret really isn't a secret, but it's something that you need to know and remember is that the artist's voice is a melody itself. Make sure that you don't overcomplicate things to a point where there's no creative room for an artist to put their vocals. drum sounds were from my illuminate kit it's not released yet but if you want to cop a free version of it then the link is in my description but let's take a listen to this beat play that back lose it y'all hope that you guys learned from this hope that you guys can now make industry melodies go get every single placement in the world and tell them lucent was a part of that so give me my splits too all right anyways y'all hope you guys have a great rest of your day um subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video you can tap in with me on instagram and tiktok but that wraps it up for me have a great rest of your day i'm out